Welcome to Insight. Today produced in partnership between Alaska Public Media and um, Oppenheim TV. We are chatting with Kirk Rose, Executive Director of the Anchorage Community Land Trust, which is formed to develop healthy and prosperous communities in Anchorage. Kirk has generously agreed to share some of his experience with us. I'd like to thank you, Kirk, for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So you have a very unique institution. You are, on the one hand, a land trust. You are also a community development organization, so you are also a developer. Talk about how you bridge these two different interests in a way that, that supports the entire community. Well, first and foremost, we're responsible to and accountable to the communities within which in, uh, we work. In our case, it's primarily focused on Mountain View, which is Anchorage's lowest income area. Uh, it's an area of concentrated poverty. Area median income in Mountain View is about $37,000 per household. Uh, for, for context there, Anchorage-wide uh, average median income is about $78,000 per household. So you can see the disparity and the divide. We work in two different uh, areas, as you mentioned, real estate and community development work. Areas of concentrated poverty in our urban cities across the country have big, big challenges. And that's why the Anchorage Community Land Trust was formed. Talk about the, uh, the diversity that is part of the Mountain View landscape. Mountain View is one of the most diverse uh, footprints in the United States. Per capita, the uh, representation of ethnicities, cultures, and nation states from around the world is higher than anywhere else. What makes our work so fascinating and, and interesting is, is that partnership with the community and having the world come to America to the, for the first time, not just to Anchorage, not just to Alaska, but to, to Mountain View. As you approach this, what are the hallmarks? Yeah. How do you communicate the kind of respect and consideration? How do you get the input from the community that is respectful but also is operationally yeah. expedient because yeah. you can't just endlessly consult. You actually have to get something done at the end of the year. Well, you're, you're taking the test for me in a lot of ways, but respect and consideration are, are two huge values of ours. I think the last piece of it and, and is, is a value of harmony. Excuse me, that's not the last piece. Harmony is, is another big piece. Uh, but then there's one defining thing that we go back to all the time. And it's so simple. It's fun. People show up to things that are fun. And uh, in our community development work and in community development work across the nation, there's important things that happen in basement meetings at churches. And there's important advocacy work that you have to do where you have to go to uh, city assembly meetings and sit there for six hours. And there's people who are built to do that. Uh, and they're powerful community champions. But we take the different spin, which is if we can make this thing fun, I can get 4,000 people to show up to the Mountain View Street Fair where there's music and dancing. And then I can ask them about how their health is, how their community is working for them, if they're able to get a job. If I'm just sitting there and asking them to come to another community meeting, I'll get the 20 people that we always get. So we take that one little spin of the model and we say, how can we make this fun? Everything that we do. How can we invite more people to be involved? And, and fun is our defining factor. Everything that we do is a vehicle to learn more about Mountain View, whether it's a farmer's market, whether it's a street fair, uh, whether it's talking about public transportation. The more that we can celebrate collectively the work that we're doing, people show up for that. Mm -hmm. We like to serve cake because people want to show up and eat cake. We like to have parties where there's ice cream and popcorn because that's fun for people to show up to. And then we can engage them in the end. But first we have to say, look what we've all accomplished together. There's a decade of work to celebrate in the community. What is your budget? Uh, my budget this year is, uh, I'm gonna spend about $1.5 million. Um, I'm fortunate to have grants from the state of Alaska, from the Rasmussen Foundation, from other big philanthropic partners in Alaska. Uh, that really pokes at the real estate side of what we do. Anchorage Community Land Trust has been a transformational partner and a driving force in Mountain View reinvestment. The Mountain View Service Center, for example, is a 55,000 square foot building that we own and manage, which houses some of the state's and city's uh, best and most important nonprofits. We worked with Credit Union One to bring the first financial institution to the neighborhood in 20 years. Uh, we're bringing it was really a financial desert, wasn't it? Mountain View has been socioeconomically isolated. Um, the perception that we're changing, or the idea that we brought was 
Imagine Mountain View, a capitalized Mountain View. Imagine people who can have access to car loans, who can pay their bills at the telephone communication store that's right in their neighborhood. Or build a business. Or build, start a business, choose to stay. Um, for a long time, that's been the rallying cry of Mountain View revitalization, is we want to be a community of choice, a place where people can choose to stay, choose to work, choose to play. Again, I can't stress enough the importance of communicating with the community, uh, talking with the community, dialoguing with the community, asking about these needs and challenges. Uh, in 2012, we organized the Mountain View Community Summit to be sure we had that pulse of the community. 200 people came over two days to interact and talk with their neighbors about what they wanted to see their community become. Uh, when we were developing the Mountain View Neighborhood Plan, we talked with one in every seven people, uh, 1,000 out of about the 7,000 people in Mountain View about what they wanted to see for the future of their community. And they identified two things primarily. That Mountain View is a health desert now. Uh, the, the intervention of the health community has not arrived. Uh, at so there are no clinics? There will be a clinic, so that's my, my next ah, big milestone. There, we go. there is going to be a clinic. Alaska Regional Hospital is opening up uh, their Mountain View Community Clinic, and it should open later this summer. The other big challenge that was identified was unemployment. Mountain View still has a 22% unemployment rate. I talk about it in terms of literacy. Uh, people typically know at this point what the, the idea behind financial literacy, for example. Uh, being initiated into how credit works in this country. Right. Well, there's workforce literacy as well. And when you put that with the diversity in our community, uh, there's social literacy around how you apply for jobs, what resumes look like. How you communicate. How you communicate. Showing up on time, how you dress. Access to technology is another big one. Um, uh, and, and I think there's another important piece that the conversation is just starting in Anchorage around workforce credentialing. So if I was an engineer in my home country in Africa and I come to Anchorage and the only careers that are available for me, if that, all of that skill set doesn't transfer, then I get a position that uh, maybe I can't pay for my family's rent. Where in Africa, I had a different social experience. I had my education translated in a different way. And Anchorage is really starting to question uh, what we're calling brain waste. That's all of these people uh, who bring these skill sets who aren't able to apply them when they arrive in our city. Do you have objectives that you wish to achieve for Mountain View and indicators of success uh, in the city to show that you and your, your volunteers, your board, yeah. your partners, yeah. your staff is being successful? For Mountain View, the goals have been defined by the community. Uh, through our neighborhood planning process, uh, there's seven different, um, and I won't try to name them, uh, <laughs> there's seven specific areas of focus. Community safety, community harmony, a vibrant uh, commercial corridor, revitalized housing stock are just a few of them. I love to see an organization with such a clearly defined mission of service, serving your community, making people happy, bringing joy, to, to people, bringing financial services to a community, bringing health care services to a community, uh, education, economic opportunity. Uh, Kirk Rose, thank you so much for sharing the work that you do yeah. at the Anchorage Community Land Trust, and thank you so much for your insights. It's my pleasure. Thank you.